everyone, I'm Lauren Susselman and I am a pro soccer player and this is The American Athlete. So I went out there, I threw this boy on the ground and I scored a goal and my mom picked me up and I just had this big smile on my face and I was like, this is my sport, mom. Basketball was like my first love. Um, I grew up with the neighborhood boys. I always wanted to hang out with my brothers. I didn't really play with the neighborhood girls. My mom was a little worried about me. <laughs> but I would go out in the backyard. We'd play every single sport, soccer, roller hockey, basketball. So I'd always come home just like bloodied and all like muddied. And my mom was like, oh my gosh, Lauren. And uh, my brother started playing soccer first. And I was like, gosh, maybe someday I want to try that. So this is what happened to me. You know, I was playing left back, and previously my coach had tried me there, and I just didn't get it. I didn't, wasn't grasping it. So in the game, and it was like our third group stage game, all of our center backs go down. Everyone gets injured. He yells at me, Cecil, get in the middle. I was like, no! But then I got into that position, and obviously with the soccer IQ, like you read the game, you know the game, you understand it. So when you're in a game-like situation, it just happens naturally, right? So after that game, though, I was like, okay, our next game is against the US. This is the semifinals. This is a big game. We're looking around like, who's going to play center back? And everyone was like worried, like, please don't put Sussman there. And then he's like, we have every ounce of faith in you. Go in there and do it. And we crushed it. It was so daunting, but it was the best experience of my life. People still talk about that game. When I came out of college, WSA had folded. And I was like, gosh, what am I gonna do with my life? I wanted to play with me AM, you know? That would have been so cool. And then it became the WPS, and that only lasted for three years. But now we have the NWSL, and it's pretty cool to see that. I mean, now that we have a, even a team here in LA, and they're getting like 25,000 fans. I mean, that's incredible. Everyone wants to invest in women's sports now, and I, especially the soccer. It's just, it's, it's incredible. Being at Wembley when there was like over 99,000 people there playing at Old Trafford, you know, being able to play at these types of places that I grew up watching and watching men's sports and seeing women excel there. I mean, the, the Euros final was sold out. Barcelona sold out so many games, so it's just pretty cool to see. You put your body through a lot, playing on so many different surfaces, traveling around the world. I mean, it is, an absolute honor, obviously, to do all of those things. But it does take a toll mentally, physically, emotionally. Physically, I tore my ACL because I was, we were overtraining, we were overdoing it, we were traveling so much. It's a hard thing to go through any type of injury. Everything that I've worked so hard for, I'm finally here. It wasn't even a contact. We were in Greece and I just stepped and it just snapped in half. And I know a lot of athletes will talk about this, but you're kind of in your own little, I mean, being an athlete in general, you're in your own little world because it's so competitive. Um, you're friends with people, but also it's just, you have to be the best every day and it takes a toll on you. The whole transition that athletes go through from the highest of the high to what's next. I wasn't prepared for this, you know? And the transition a lot of athletes struggle with and for female athletes, Unfortunately, we didn't retire with money. We didn't get paid barely anything. And so when I found out about my concussions, I didn't want to live. I almost committed suicide. And it was, it was a hard thing that a lot of athletes struggle with. So I think it's really important to talk about, especially since we've lost a few soccer players this year. That's another thing I've had to deal with over the last couple of years. Obviously, I'm in a, a much better place and um, being able to openly talk about it. You had Kevin Love starting the conversation, making it okay to talk about it. And so now you have a lot of athletes connecting with everyday people, which is amazing, using our platforms to connect with others and help them on their mental health journey. So I would say those are the two biggest moments in my life where I really felt the, the lowest of the low. But um, it's just, you know, surrounding yourself with great people, having a, a great music playlist, and just, you know, telling yourself positive affirmations every day and just, you know, waking up with gratitude every day. So now I get to help a lot of people. I'm working on some soccer films stuff right now. So being a voice in that is pretty cool. I would love to interview athletes like what you're doing and, you know, and have fun with that. And I love just talking about the game. Anything in that capacity, you know, the World Cups are coming up this year, next year. So I think I might be doing a little bit behind the scenes for, for the men's and then for the women, I would like to be there like in the thick of it. I love, as I said, sitting down and getting to know people and what they offer to the world and showcasing that. So if you're watching and you need me, call me. <laughs>